There's a local group trying to put an end to the violence, and that group is MVP, or Most Valuable Parents. Joining me now is the Executive Director, Mia Aris-Goss. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having appreciate me. Appreciate you being here. We know that parents have a job to protect their children, Absolutely. but when your child is accused of doing a crime like this, do you believe that the parents should be held accountable? Uh, well, you know, I believe that the community at large is accountable. So yes, I'm accountable for what my child does. However, we don't know every single parent's situation. Everyone is different. So I think that yes, we should take a look at what is going on in that household. But the main thing that we need to take a look at is what are we doing as an entire community? Because it takes a village to raise a child. And there are different circumstances with different households. What are you seeing uh, with MVP? Because you all are boots on the ground. Yes, you're, you're out there and you're probably seeing more than the average person does and you have been helpful in turning some of these kids around. Yes. So what are you seeing and what are some of the situations? Because sometimes people watching right now, they have no idea what some households are dealing with. Yes, you're, you're absolutely right because we also deal with volunteers from universities and things of that nature and they say how surprised they are because they don't know. So we are encountering a lot of youth that just don't have anything to do. That's one of the main problems is that we don't have enough uh, positive activities for our youth. And you hear all the time from people, oh, we have this basketball program or we have this after school program. I'm not saying there's no programs, but there's not enough. There's not enough people doing enough work. There's lots of people doing work, but if you have 300,000 people in a city, if you have 33,000 students in a school, then you need more people to work at that problem. So we definitely need more um, educational programs, after school program, athletic programs, and we need more community policing. We have a definite, we have a wonderful relationship with some community police, but we don't have enough. You know, we have uh, volunteers, we have businesses that do things, we don't have enough. We need to really make it a point to our community that the business owners, the educators, the doctors, lawyers, educators, everyone, we need to be more aggressively working together to help. Quickly, where does MVP stand on guns? MVP is not against guns. MVP is against illegal guns, and we're against guns being in the hands of people that sh are not equipped to use them. Um, but as the senator, the congressman said, senator said, uh, as Tim Kennedy said, we need to work at these laws. We need to really make sure that we have good gun legislation. So vote. Please, people, go vote and make sure that you are paying attention to the different laws. We have about 30 seconds. You have to tell me, how is Ramon's mother? Uh, she is heartbroken. However, she has pulled her strength together so that she can have a few interviews because she wants to make sure she gets the message out to stop the violence. But she needs more encouragement, more support, and more love, and she absolutely appreciates all that everyone has done. Mia Ayers Goss, the executive director of MVP. We want to thank you so much for taking the thank time you. to come out and uh, give a message that people needed to hear. We appreciate you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right.